In this video, we are going to learn how to write and execute our first code in Python in PyCharm. Now, every code or file within PyCharm is written inside a project. This means everything in PyCharm is written with respect to a project. Therefore, the first thing that you need to create before you can write any piece of code is a project. So let's see how we can create a project in PyCharm. After we have successfully installed PyCharm, the welcome screen asks us to create a new project or open a pre-existing project as you can see on the screen. Now that we do not have any pre-existing project, so we are going to create a new project. So let's click on new project and the new project window comes up. In this window, you can specify the location of your project. Also, you have a Python interpreter menu. Here you can specify whether you want to create a new project interpreter or reuse an existing one. So as you can see, if you click here, you get a drop down list. And from this list, you can select the interpreter that you want to select or the environment that you want to use. Now these options may vary from person to person since I have installed the following tools. So I have these options in my environment. You can also specify the location of the new environment and select a base interpreter. So in my case, I'm going to select the first one. Now this can be Python 2 or Python 3. In my case, it is Python 3.8. In your case, it will be something different based on what you have installed in your system. And then we have some other options, which I prefer to keep default as of now. It is always a good idea to keep things simple. And since we are creating our project for the first time, so let go ahead with the defaults. I'll not create a main.py or the main Python file so that I can create a new file and show you how we can create new files and use Python within PyCharm. Now we need to go ahead and click on the create button. Now, as you can see, PyCharm is loading the components and it is preparing the environment so that we can write our code. You might also get this pop up where PyCharm gives you one trick to learn at each startup. Go ahead and close this. Click on the don't show tips checkbox so that every time I start PyCharm, I do not have this tip of the day. And now let's close this pop up. PyCharm is still preparing the environment. And as you can see, PyCharm has finished configuring the environment and we are ready to write our first Python code in PyCharm. Now, before you can write the code, you need to create a file with an extension .py or a Python file so that you can write the code in it. So I'll show you three ways of doing that. Select the project, go to file, click on new, and you have the following dialog box or the pop-up where you can select the type of file that you're creating. We are going to create a Python file so we can select Python file from here. And now you need to specify the name of the file. I'll name it Calci and then press enter. So as you can see, we have the calci.py file. Now the second way of doing this is to select your project, right click on the project, select new and select Python file from the side menu. And then you can specify the name of the file and then press enter. Now the third way of creating the file is through a shortcut. If you are on windows, simply press alt and insert and that will open up create new file wizard for you. You can select Python file from here, give your file a name and then press enter. It's time to write our first code in PyCharm. So let's create a very simple code. I'm going to create two variables a where I'm going to ask the user to enter a value and I'll create another variable 
where I'm going to ask the user to enter another value. Now, if you notice, as I type, we have an autocomplete feature, which is yet again another advantage of using this awesome IDE for Python. All I need to do is press tab and it will complete the line for me. We have our variables. And now let's print the sum of the two variables. There we go. We have successfully written our first program in PyCharm. Having said that, writing the code wouldn't serve our purpose. We also need to run our code and check if it works for us. So how can we do that? Now there are again three ways using which you can run your code. The first way is right click on the file and run calci, which is the name of our file. The second way is to use the shortcut. As you can see, control shift and F10 will help us to run this code. And the third way is to select this green arrow icon, which will help us to run our code. So let us use this icon. So that's the option that I'm using. And as you can see, we have our output screen below. Now this is the place where you will get your output. You can resize it according to your wish. So let's enter a value five. Maybe the second value will be 10. And let's see, 15 is the result since we added the two numbers. Now before wrapping up this video, I would like to quickly touch upon a few things and you can play around with them. So as you can see within settings, we have numerous options. Now we are going to discuss most of them in due course. But as of now, I want you to focus on the appearance and the behavior section. So if you see, you can go ahead and change the theme. So as you can see, the theme was changed. You can also apply changes to the font size and the custom font type. So maybe you would like to make it something else like maybe this one and maybe change the font size to 16. Let's apply. And as you can see, the font type as well as the size changed for us. However, I do not like this. I'm going to change it. Theme has been changed. Now let's keep something simple. Let's reduce the size and apply. This looks far better. Now please go ahead and check out all the options that you have within appearance and behavior. Spend some time on this menu and then move on to the next video. In the next video, we are going to discuss how you can debug your code and also test your code. So if you have time, please join me in the next video.